Good morning, South Africa. My name is Vuyogazi. Welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you from Cape Town, South Africa. Thank you very much for coming to watch. Vusi Tembekwayo is a global speaker. He's a venture capitalist, an entrepreneur, and a best-selling author. Uh, I have put together some clips for you from some radio interviews he did in the past where he talks about his successes as well as his failures. So, you know, failure is part of life, but the thing is you must try to just pat yourself on the back, dust yourself off and get up. I went, I took a decision about 18 months ago that I wanted to do a show in Vegas for a few yeah. reasons. One, I've won the world championship twice. Mm -hmm. Two, I'd never really done anything that was uh, gutsy. So I didn't take any huge business risks. Yeah. And this one was a big one for me. This one, if it tanked, it could have really done me in. No, that's it. So, I mean, I mean, you, you think about it. The, the Rand dollar exchange rate is one to 10. If you're booking a venue in Vegas, it's $60,000 for the venue. That kind of gives you a sense of the numbers we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I decided I'm going to do a show in Vegas. Mm -hmm. But let's step it up. I'm going to do a show in Vegas, no external sponsors. So I don't want any corporate money. I've got to get a thousand people in the room. I'm going to do it on the 3rd and the 5th of July. You can't do anything on the 4th of July in America. It's, as yeah. you know, it's their biggest holiday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I land in Vegas on the 1st. I go to see the lady at the box office and I said, well, you know, who am I competing with? Who else has got a show? She said, it's Vegas on the 4th of July. Who hasn't got a show? <laughs> so she pulls up the roster. Mm. I, I almost fell off my chair. She mm. pulls up the roster. Celine Dion. Uh, it, huge. Mm. Celine Dion. Anthony Hamilton. Uh, uh, Boys Elvis Men, impersonators. Uh, Drake. Oh, yeah. I'm going, ah, but I'm Vossi. I'm like, right up on this. Vossi tell me why not. But here's the thing, and I think yeah. this is what we South Africans have got to realize, is if you sell your authenticity, no one can duplicate your story. Mm -hmm. So the whole narrative we sold in America was, here's a boy who grew up, and we were clear to say South Africa, because it ain't Africa. Mm. We're not a country, we're a continent. Mm. Yeah. Here's a boy who grew up in a township in South Africa who was raised by a single mother. My mother was a cleaner. She raised five of us. Mm -hmm. Let me put it to you this way. What my mother was earning when I was in matric is less than what, I, than what it costs me today to put a full tank of gas in my car. There you go. So we went with that narrative and we told that story around how there's hope in the continent. There's young people who are working hard, who are willing to deliver. There's the growth of the continent. Mm -hmm. And we called the tour the Africa Rising Tour. 3rd and 5th July, we sold out. Wow, that's incredible. And I incredible. think it, it's a true testament, and this is, if I can say anything to the listeners, is simply this, that if you don't believe in yourself, you don't believe in your story, there's no point. Mm -hmm. We spoke about the fact that, you know, people might not know that you've actually failed quite a few times too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about those failures and how they got you to where you are right now. I'll tell you about the first, which was probably the most painful. I used to have a business. It was my first business. Yes. And we were in Centurion. And I took, I had a little bit of savings and I took them and I paid some rent up front. Had an assistant who I paid two months salary up front. And I was convinced. I was like, I'm in and the phone is going to start ringing. Yes. And for eight months, that phone was dead quiet. Mm -mm -mm. Nothing happened. So I, obviously you can't pay the car. So the bank wanted to repossess the car. And I needed the car because I was in business. Yes. Oh, wow. So I left my home and I went to live in the office. So I used to live in the basement. No wow. ways. Yeah. Dead of winter. Spent six months living in the basement. I still remember the routine. I used to wake up every two hours and switch the car on. It was a Run-X. Mm. I'd switch the car on just to heat it up. Sleeping in a Run-X is not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> in my defense, it was the RSI. Yeah, yes. it always, it's better than a sponge. Yeah, you know? and, yeah. I was, and I'd sleep in the, in, the, in, the, in the back seat. And then I'd go upstairs and, and wash at about 4 o'clock in the morning and start the work day. Eight solid months. 2 a.m., mm. you're at the back of your car because that's your home. 100%. What are you thinking don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. You know, I, I also didn't have enough money to eat, right? So I used to go to my girlfriend's house. Yeah. My then girlfriend, now wife. Sure. And she, oh. it, Did was, she know? She, she suspected. Okay. But yeah, that was but, that was often the only meal I would have that But day. we're guys. We don't always say, yeah. sadly. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was... But she could see. I mean, it was the... You know, my, you, 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 ever, you ever wear shoes so much that they tear underneath? Oh. Yes. Like mm. the, the, yeah. And, I, and I'd walk and I could feel... I'd feel the ground in my socks. Mm. Yeah. Like if it was wet, I could feel my feet are wet. Oh, right. wow. what, what stopped you from saying to, you know, whomever you might have looked up to at that stage and saying, yo, I need help? Well, <laughs> Whew. <laughs> pride. Yeah, pride. Yeah, because you don't yeah. want to admit. You don't want to admit that you're there. Yeah. You don't. You know, when you say you need help, there is almost a sense of weakness to it. Sure. Mm. Uh, th th that says you you're not capable on your own. Mm. Um, when, when sometimes it is that you are capable, but you just need a leg up. Mm. You need somebody who's mm. just going to open the door. Sure. And at the time, the truth is that's all I needed. I just need somebody who's going to give me an opportunity. Mm. Have you I just changed? Too much pride. One hundred percent. 
failure is part of life but the thing is you must try to just pat yourself on the back dust yourself off and get up again anyone can tell you that you can't but only you have the power to decide if they are right thank you very much for watching watching i hope you will like the video and press like you can comment down below on who you would like to see featured next next time when we do this because we're going to be doing it every single monday every single week for the rest of this year so please like subscribe share and comment down below thank you very much much love it's for your guys signing out bye and I was busy selecting the right suit to wear for this particular video. And I just want to say, don't let this suit fool you. Don't let the accent fool you. I am from Natal, so don't let the accent nor the suit fool you.